Hey guys, today here in my video, I'm cam swapping my VVT uh, LY6 cam out for a, a non VVT uh, for no 595 intake exhaust 112 LSA cam. And uh, I'm going from this uh, VVT single bolt to a generic three bolt. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you guys this flesh part right here. I'm going to keep that uh, level to the cam. Um, you, I mean, the guys that are doing the cam swap on this LY6, I mean, you'll see how it just screw in right there. I, I'm just going to flush it to that. Just so I have something to grab up when I'm pulling this uh, cam out. That should be good. Um, I did stick a 5 16th uh, rod into, into this uh, hole of these ports that it has right here on the block. You guys will see that when you guys are deleting the VBT cam. And I on this side, I couldn't put in the 5 16th, so I got a 1 4th uh, bar, and then I put some black tape on it, and I just wrapped it to whatever it is I need. I just made sure that it was all the way to the back of the block. That way it's got all those lifters up with tension. That's kind of like a cheater trick, I guess, just so we don't take off the, the heads, because I, I, I don't want to take off the heads. I want to leave them on, swap out the cam, and that's it. So, uh, you know, <clears throat> what you want to do, obviously, you want to give, you want to give the cam a good couple of turns, uh, several of them. Uh, just so you know, the lifters are back up into their lifter trays, and these rods are supposed to keep it from, you know, coming back out. At least put some tension on there, that way they don't just slip right out, if, if you have bad trays. Uh, I don't know if I have bad trays or good trays, I'll find out. Um, you know, obviously you'll, you'll hear them clunk in there. So right now what I'm doing, I'm just giving it a couple spins here before I take it out. I do have my cam sitting prepped up. I use some Lucas assembly oil. I have it right here for the first part of it when I put it back in there. I'm gonna show you guys that right now. So I at least have the <clears throat> the farther back part of the cam lubed up. So when I start putting it in there, I'm gonna put, put it halfway in. You can lube all of that up. I'm just gonna show you guys here uh, once once I get to that. So let me let me start taking this out. Because once you remove the whole BVT, if you guys haven't done that yet, how to get to this part, check out my other videos. And uh, you guys will see. Slowly turn it as you pull it out. You don't want to pull too hard because you don't want to take out your cam bearings. don't want to say much because I want to hear if those lifters fall out. Okay, so that's my original cam. Set it to the side. Check for defects right now. If it falls, it falls. So right now, I have this cam. This is a 595 cam lift. Usually it's a good time to check if your cam bearings are bad. Um, if you have the time to do it. So all my lifters are, they seem to be in place. No time. So I'm gonna start putting this one in. Like I said, I use some of this Lucas, some of this Lucas assembly lube. I do it for all my cam swaps. 
slowly put it in there. What you want to do, I dress the first part of it. I'll dress the second part of it. It's green. It's a green film on here. This is the Lucas assembly. I don't think there's anything better out there. I mean, you could use oil for sure, but you just want to make sure when you start up your vehicle, your cam doesn't start up dry. Whew. Yeah, this cam's heavier than the top one. Way heavier. So, make sure you lube up all the lobes here. The journals where your cam's gonna be on, especially where your cam's gonna be on. Do you need to use the whole bottle? No, you don't. Do I use the whole bottle? Yeah, nearly half of it. I've done two cam swaps and that bottle's lasted me two cam swaps, so. Well, actually, I have the water pump bolts in water pump bolts in here, so it makes it a little bit easier to install. Gotta make sure that journal bearing is nice and lubed up. Okay. I have my push rods still on there. So my cam's in there. Oh, that thing's nice and loose. Look at the stickiness on that. Man, that's Lucas for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push each push rod in just so I can hear them. Touch the cam. If you push that push rod all the way through, and I mean it goes through, it means your lifter, your lifter went straight through. I'm gonna use some of this excessive oil for the for the tips of those push rods. Ugh. I'm gonna take off these gloves. These rods can come out. So I have black tape on there, this stops, just to, just to keep the thickness and tension on those lifters. I mean, if you haven't checked out my other videos before on how to remove this VBT stuff, um, definitely check that out before you get to this whole cam stuff video. So all I'm doing is spinning the can. Oh yeah, all my lifters are on that side. So, you do the same thing over here on this side. I don't know if you guys can hear that. As long as they lift all back up, that means I definitely I mean, those push rods really lift up now. Oh, that's a bigger lift. Um, I don't know what the stock cam spec is on an LY6 VVT cam. I really don't. You can leave those comments down below because I, I would like to know. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use one of, this is literally the whole lift on that cam that I got right now. From bottom of the lobe to the top. I'm gonna measure that to the original one, see the difference. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you delete, well, not delete the VBT, but literally swap from that single bolt VBT. Because I'm deleting the VBT, like I said, check out my other videos. And uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. Let's see this camera. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
There's more of me. But we really gotta look at this. Um, so we gotta definitely, definitely remove these because you, you don't wanna leave those in here. That's pretty much it, guys. Let's remove these water pump bolts out of there. You got, you know what you're doing. You better know what you're doing. If not, take your engine to a shop and get a cam there. But for the most part, follow my videos. And this was how to take out the VBT cam and put your aftermarket non VBT cam onto here. That's it. 10 minute video. Gotta stop it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Keep in tune for more of my videos for Project Sir Malo. This is an LY6 VVT swap. Cam swap. Cam swap. All right, peace out, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks.